In this quick video, we're going to plot the motherboard set with just four lines of Python code. And we're going to need the package PyFlow, which I've already pre-installed inside this Google Colab notebook. The first line is going to be the import. PyFlow import everything. PyFlow is mainly built for differentiable simulations, but its general tensor and utility functions can be used here as well. So let's define our motherboard function that takes in a number on the complex plane and determines whether it belongs to the motherboard set or not. To do this, we're going to have to iterate a function that takes a complex value z, squares it, and adds the point that we're testing. Let's do 30 iterations, starting with a value of 0 for now. And if the sequence diverges, then the point does not belong to the motherboard set. So let's just return the absolute of the final value of the sequence. All that's left to do now is to plot this on a grid. Where we can sample 1000 points along the real axis and also along the imaginary axis. And let's put these points from minus 1.5 to 0 0.5 on the real axis. And this one to one on the imaginary axis. Now, if you run the cell, you should get a figure that looks like this, which strongly looks like the motherboard set, but notice that we don't have the contour lines that are often visible here. And the reason is that since many of these sequences diverge, we get very large values in our color bar. So instead, what most of these plots do is they plot the number of iterations it takes for a sequence to go beyond a certain point. So let's do this instead. We're going to need a counter variable inside our loop here. Let's call it i, also starting with zero. And we're going to increase i only if our sequence has not gone beyond that point yet. So if the absolute value of z is smaller than, say, two. Let's only return the loop counter and plotting this again gives us the more common image of the motherboard set where you also have these nice contour lines. You can also run this code on the GPU and I've put a link to a Jupyter Notebook in the video description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.